Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove an object inside of DaVinci Resolve very easily. Coming up. Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews, but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials like this one. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please consider subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. So in this video we are talking about how to remove an object of, an, of a video in a moving scene actually. And I got these questions a lot from clients who asked me on set, hey, can we retouch that? Because they think like, yeah, in photos is, it's quite easy, in video is not. And I highly recommend you to do as much as you can in camera rather than mess with it in post, but sometimes we don't have the option. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve fairly easy. So let's go. So here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve and this is a current project I'm working on. And we see this clip right here. She is moving, there's a little bit of movement because I filmed it with the Easy Rig. And the client asked me if I can retouch this Samsung logo here out of this um, yeah, tablet. And yeah, let's see if we can do it. Um, head over to Fusion. By the way, this is the color grade I made. Um, that was before the log. This is after. There's also a lot of color grading um, on this channel tutorial. So check that out. I will link it for you. Um, so head over to Fusion right now. And I already made that pretty big, but um, yeah, uh, don't worry, he's just showing us the log, but that's that's not a problem. Please make sure that you're on the first frame, it makes it easier for tracking and post, because we need to track it, because there's movement in that shot. So let's search for the um, note or the effect paint, and we're gonna add that. Then we're gonna go over to apply controls and hit here the second icon, which is clone. Then we go over here top left and choose the stroke icon, which is this one. And then we're gonna zoom in to make our life a lot easier. So, and here we're gonna see it. This is the logo we need to um, remove. Go on brush controls because we see that uh, the brush size right now is pretty big so I'm gonna decrease that um, to this amount and that looks pretty good and what we need to do right now we just find a spot that we want to sample from that we want to clone from and we hit uh, option or alt on the PC and just mark it with the left click and then we're gonna hover over to um, the logo or what we want to remove and then we just simply yeah go over that something like that and now we need to do the following we go on this arrow here um, we go back a little bit closer and we gonna mark that one here now we are seeing uh, what we have done we click on here paint group and now we're gonna go over to the inspector and go to center and make a right click and then go to modify with tracker position now we're gonna go to modifiers and here he's asking us for tracker source so and here we're gonna type in media in one because that's the name of the media right and hit enter and we see here in the tracker that he's uh, has found something and then therefore i said it's uh, important that we are on the first frame we're gonna track forward and now let's see what we came up with. So now Resolve is saying out that he has completed the tracking. So we're gonna hit OK, going back to Edit. And now we already see the final result and we can see if we hover over here that he has done a pretty awesome job. And I used this method also on drone shots and all the kinds of stuff and it worked always pretty well for me. Uh, there might be scenes that are a little bit too complex where you need to track manually, but for most of the time you're gonna be fine with the tracking tool inside of Resolve. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, if it did, please hit the thumbs up button and ask me some questions in the comment if you yeah, want to know more about it or if you know another method or content that you want to see in a future, in a future whatever you want to tell me, please write it in the comments down below. And I'm gonna see you in my very next video. Ciao.
So we are still waiting until he's done. And I don't know what I can say to you right now because, uh, yeah, 